Today's unboxing and review is of this set number 40314. We will be building it and then reviewing it. Did I say we? Oh, we have a guest today. Welcome, Brianna. This Hi is my guys. daughter, Brianna. <laughs> okay, so. And now what we're going to do is open it up. And Brianna and I are going to see what we like and what we don't like about it. It is for ages 6 and up. Only 76 pieces. And it's on sale at the uh, Lego shop right now for a little over $13. So I recommend if parents have a little bit of money, you can get things on sale. So always look at the sale price. It's pretty cool. Brenda, want to open the box? Yes. And this is the Unikitty magnifying machine. The Unikitty magnifying machine. Thank you, Brianna. Because I noticed it doesn't say that on the box. Is it okay if I destroy the box? Yep. So when Brianna was younger, I used to put a prize on her bed. Like about once a week. And she'd go over to visit her father's. And when she came back on Sunday night, she used to have a box of something or... Either Legos, candy. Candy. <laughs> she liked the candy. <laughs> so there's two bags that come with this. And some glasses. Put them on. <laughs> it comes with cool glasses. Oh my god. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. So these are made for... You're too tall. Get down. These are made for little kids. So this might not fit me. Get down. You're over here. Yeah, in the shop. <laughs> the phone's wiggling because I'm giggling. <laughs> oh, it did show it on the box. It did not say the name of it, but it um, it's called. Oh, sorry. Hope you don't get dizzy. It's called the magnifying machine, Unikitty magnifying machine. But it doesn't say that on the box. But that's what you're looking for. Again, the set number is 40314. Let's get building. All right, so we laid it all out. And Brian, there's a piece missing. Oh. Oh, because <laughs> she's playing with the magnifying glass. <laughs> Silly goose. By the way, guys, this is not, not work. Does not work? Is it broken? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this together. So, oh, it does work. It does work. So, we're not going to build it all in front of the camera. We'll just start at first. And then we'll finish building off camera and then we'll get back to it. So, this is where we start with number one. This is what we're building. And this is how you read. The second thing we do is add to these pieces. So we find the half moon in blue and then add these two pieces. Eagle breathe. Okay. Yep, just like the picture. Mm -hmm. Good job. Even with those big cat nails. <laughs> Are those unikitty nails? <laughs> Might be. <laughs> All right. 
step three is add that purple um circle. So add that circle. There you go. What I've learned is that if you can go ahead, why spit isn't it out. this going on? Ah, uh, you'll find it. Try lining up these with these. So sorry, I meant to show it on camera. These two with these two. Line it up. The studs with studs. studs. Yep, so turn it just a little bit. So right there. Oh, now put it on. Oh, okay. Like line it up. That makes more sense. There, see how it fit right right in there? There we go. Alright. Now a bit difficult. What's the next step? So the next step. Next page? Nope. We're on four now. Is to add the next blue. Mm-hmm. Which is right here. Yes. So now the that we did the circle. Mm-hmm. Now that we've gone over how to read this and going step by step, we're going to build it off camera and just a little bit and then we'll turn it on halfway through our build, okay? All right. See you in two seconds. So we got the nice little walls up and this is called a Petri dish, by the way, guys. A Petri dish is where you hold all the things, the specimens, that you're going to examine. So, what are we going to examine today? Oh, look at this little strawberry. Yep, that's what we're going to examine. So put that little strawberry on that brick right there. And if we can find another one, we're going to examine... A doggy treat? Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. So we'll put it in the Petri dish. One and two. Okay. Oh, it says, and a snowflake and pizza. Here's pizza. the pizza. Got the snowflake. Yep. Okay. And now we're going to start on that build right there, which is the actual mechanism. Oh, cool. All right. Yep. Move the Petri dish. Get the upside down slopes on there. All the pieces wanted to go together. So... These re these are slopes, the one with the angles, and then upside down, meaning that the things go that way. Yep. Let's go get another one of these slopes. Right next to See, it. This one looks so familiar. Like it looks kind okay, of okay. like the same thing as those, but they're not. But that's the chair? Nope, it's not. <laughs> it looks oh. like a chair. It's kind of cool. It's, sometimes you find pieces that look funny. And they, they have their names, but I don't know them yet. Alright, so now this one here, I don't know what it's called. Looks like a sofa. <laughs> and I noticed one thing. It says that the picture shows only one stud on this side. So we're going to move over just by one stud. There we go. So 
So these are actually in the middle. So this one goes there. This one goes there. Now, this is called a tile. And this is called a plate. So we're going to take the white 1x4 tile. We'll place that there. Eagle Bree, right in front of it, mm -hmm. like that picture. And then grab the purple brick and put that upside down. Mm -hmm. Put this upside down? Nope. Just push that aside and just take that purple brick and oh, put... this is a whole nother step. Yep. Put this with this hanging off of it. Just like that picture. Mm-hmm, right in the center there, yep. Good. And I'm gonna help you push on it. And now we get to use these things that I called chairs because I didn't know what they're called. Okay, ready? One on one side. Um, because we're going to flip this around. Because when the instructions have this symbol over here, it means to turn it around. It goes flip, flip. So put one on one side and... The other one on the other side. So one over here on the corner. Okie dokie. On the front corner. So. Oh, so turn this around. So that way this is facing you. Like the picture. Gotcha. So always make it like the picture. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes right here. Mm -hmm. Just. Good job. Just needs to go right on the edge, though. Oh, okay. All right. And then the other one, Same right on this it. edge, from underneath. Did you have a good day at school today? I did. Good. Here you go. Two, bri two more bricks. I like this color brick. Go ahead. And another one. Okay. Good. Now step 10, two purple tiles. So here's one for you and one for me. Let's do it this way. The opposite way. This way, this way. The other way? Yeah, facing up and down. Great job. Ah! They fall. Like mother, like daughter. We both have to <laughs> struggle with these nails, man. But you get the pointy nails. Go so one more here. Oh, cool. These are called Technic bricks. One by four with holes. Okay. Right there. Okay, we're going to pause the video here. We're going to finish building off camera. And see you in a bit. Come on. There we go. Video's on. All right. So, <laughs> she drops oh, the pieces. Legos are all over the floor. 
<laughs> you pick up the Lego. We're doing this little piece right there. And so we need to take this piece here. And... Where's my piece? It's a little piece like that. <laughs> so I, it's easier to stick in if it's on the table. <laughs> Brianna's destroying the place. <laughs> All right. So now, according to the picture. Right there, you got one going, this is facing you, right? And then one going that way and one going in that way. So put yours in that one. What you call these? They look sort of like lollipops, mechanical lollipops. In my eyes. In your eye? Ow! <laughs> it's not going in. Just push it in. Yep, there you go. Oh, you gotta push hard. There we go. And now these. Here's one. And here's the other. You put one on one side, I'll put the other one mm -hmm. on. Wait a minute. It's missing a piece right here. Oh, it is? Yep, a little blue piece. Yes, these things. Put this right here. Straighten mine out. So as far as what I think about this set so far, is it fun to build with your child? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun so far. It says to flip it so that way it's facing that way and add it to there like that. Hi, Sal. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take step number 21. Oh, we start with that. Here, go, Brie. Add that piece. And then these two pieces go next to it. So. <laughs> Two people doing this together is a little bit difficult. There. Can we move this over so that we it's flush so we have a straight edge? Yes. Go ahead, move it up. One stud. Like this? Yep, like that. Good job. I'm so glad I have a helper today. Sal, do you want to add a piece? But I really need your help. <laughs> okay, you're busy picking up your mess. Your mess. <laughs> Not my mess. They were drying. I washed Legos because part of uh, buying Legos cheap at yard sales is washing them and then dr air drying them. And they were drying on the windowsill. <laughs> so that is step number 24. <laughs> Oh, you get to put the magnifying glass on. Okay, so where does this go? So this goes here. 
this goes right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the magnifying glass goes right in there. Good job. I'm gonna get a window, this blue one, and put it right there, right next to it. And then these, which I call wall elements. I'm not positive that's the name. I think I heard someone call it that once before. So they go side by side. And then if you put one right in front of it, like that, kind of makes like a tunnel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> now you can see right through there. Look at that. So now another one. Okay. I'm going to pause the video because we're at 21 minutes. My phone um, doesn't allow me more than 30 minutes of the video. So we'll finish this and we'll give our review. Good job building that, Brianna. Thank you. All right. So which way does it go? It's, I think you look in this side. Let me see if it works. Ooh, wait a minute. Ah. Trying to say. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let me try it with the naked eye. Let's see if it actually does see something. What do you see? Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. What do you see? You, you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. You can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, everything is blurry, okay. but you can see the colors of everything. All right, so you Once attach again, it together. This isn't a real, a yep. real so magnifying that, glass. And it slides right in there. Yep. Good job. All right. So now. On this side, it says to add the two yellow cones. And I heard people call these cones, so these are called cones. Transparent yellow cones. Pretty cool. Or is that green? Lime, lime yellow, lime green. And now it's done! <laughs> Congratulations, Brianna. This is pretty cool. Go ahead. See the strawberry. Oh, you have to really bend down. This is really cool. Overall, it technically does not work like it says it like it like it shows on the box. Pretty much all a blur. All a blur. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very fun making this. Ah, do you think it would um, entice children to maybe explore and like maybe look at things in a different view and maybe want to get a real telescope? I was just going to say that I, if if I actually build one of the like one of these and. And if I was a kid, I would go out and buy a real magnifying glass. Yeah, you can kind of see. Kind of see what? I don't... All right, maybe <laughs> it's not focused right. You could see something through that hole. Let me see. I see pizza through the hole if I look in with the naked eye, but... Aha! <laughs> There's a little red dot. There we go. Hmm. 
wonder what that green stuff is. Hope it's not anchovies. The only pizza I don't like is anchovies. Hopefully it's not mold. <laughs> it's not mold. <laughs> It, it's supposed to be pepperonis, I think. Really tiny pepperonis. Let's see. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Sal, get in there. <laughs> okay, Brianna. <laughs> You're a doctor now. Take care, Sal. What part am I looking at? Okay, just <laughs> Look making at, sure. Look at these eyeballs. We'll introduce... Oh, wow. We'll introduce Sal's vision problems. Oh, okay. The real reason why he might have dropped those Legos was he has um, a condition with his eyes called retinitis pigmentosa. Now, Brianna, you do know that, right? A.K.A. tunnel vision? Tunnel vision! For now, yes, that's the beginning. So he starts off with tunnel vision... And then um, the poor guy, he will lose his sight. There is no cure so far. So, but he's still happy. He um, is doing very well. And he's not lost his vision totally. But um, sometimes he drops Legos. It's okay. And the reason why I could not get a cat or a dog when I lived here is because you might hear a squeal once in a while. Because he'd step on a cat or something, so we keep, couldn't have a pet. But but um, Brianna's going to be 20 now, mm -hmm. and she did move on. She moved out. So. And I do have a dog now. And she has a dog. She's not being stepped on. Hey, this is the only dog we have. I did. Look that at is the dog. so cool. Look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Look at the dog. <laughs> oh, I see his, his tongue. His, you see the tongue? <laughs> his tongue is the only thing that you can see. And it looks like a, a, just a giant fruit roll-up. So at first, everything was a blur. But as I don't know what changed... But now you can actually see the stuff being magnified. So this actually does work. And it's really cool. All right. So do you recommend it for somebody six years old? Um, okay. So I am about to be 20. And it was a bit difficult for me. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I, think, I think an average six-year-old could build this. Um, I believe that, um, certain six-year-olds. Yes. I'm also going to someday invite Piti over, which he is actually six years old. And he has told me that he could not build some of the sets. So it depends on what six-year-old. So don't always go by the age limit on the box. It depends on your child. So, Brianna, you... So I had no clue what I was doing, and... Ah, it's okay. We had fun. Did we have fun? That's the main, I had fun. That's the main thing. The main thing is that we had fun. Now, I'm going to be using some of these pieces in my mocks. So these... If you're looking for pieces, it did come with the idea of something coming in and out. So you can use this technique in oh, yeah. anything that you want. Because it does have these gears. And you can uh -huh. just pull this right out. And you can't yeah. anymore? Yeah, you can. And it comes with purple tiles. It comes with these cool blue tiles right here. So I'm not going to pop it off right now. Um... It came with a magnifying glass, which does also fit in the minifigure's hand, which we're running out of time quick. So, Brianna, put it in his hand, please. Yeah. All right. I see you. I'll see you next time. Have fun building. Bye.